The original cast CD is now in stores across the country, and it looks like making the recording was almost as much fun as putting on the show. You. You. And me. And me. We're, We're the kind, kind of people other people would like to be. I don't think I've ever been on stage with anybody who knows themselves as well as she does and who's as comfortable in her own skin as she is. It's as nice a relationship on stage as I've ever had with anybody. Here's proof that Julie Andrews is a nice lady. We were the only news crew she allowed on stage with her as she recorded the original cast album for her Broadway hit, Victor, Victoria. Yeah, I sing melody first and then harmony. I didn't sing harmony till Wandering Free, right? Right. Wandering Free. In Victor Victoria, Julie Andrews plays a singer who can't find work until she meets Toddy, played by Tony Roberts. He offers her a job at his club, but there's a small problem. All the singers are men, in drag. So now Victoria is a woman pretending to be a man playing a woman. Matters get even more complicated when she falls in love with a gangster played by Michael Newry. I'd like you to meet my beautiful boyfriend, Victor. How'd it sound down at the stadium? To be on stage with Julie, uh, for me, is, uh, I mean, she's my fair lady every night. It's, uh, it's really a privilege. And the gangster is riddled with guilt, wondering how he's going to break the news to his girlfriend, played with sexy aplomb by Rachel York. Both Victor Victoria the Musical and Victor Victoria the Movie were directed by Blake Edwards, Julie Andrews' husband. The late Henry Mancini wrote the music for both as well. Rachel York remembers meeting Mancini at her audition. I was fiddling around the piano and the only, the only song that I can really play is Moon River. So I started playing that and he, he looks over to Blake and he says, Hire her. She's good. I like this girl. You know, he was just great. He was so wonderful. This, we had a feeling right from the beginning, was a real crowd pleaser. The, the, the characters appeal, and that's just about everything. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to meet some of the folks who get to share the stage with Julie Andrews, Tony Roberts, and Rachel York. Welcome. It is a veritable love fest. I cannot believe what you all had to say about working with Julie. This is the first show I've ever been in when not one person was fired. It's true. I mean, this is a big cast, and nobody was replaced in this, which is a tribute to your husband. Pretty icky, but it's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> what was that little business at the end of the tape? What did you say to him? Just now? Yeah. I said, see, I am bossy. I, 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 I'm always says one, two, three, four, or, or uh, telling him that you've got to just straighten up here or something like that. And I am bossy. I'm, I'm ashamed to You're just quick. And uh, we had to find an end to that song, because it doesn't end in the show. It, uh, it's interrupted by business and on the album it has to have an end so they said uh, do it on an eight count or something like that and I would have taken a week to learn that and you had it in five minutes so you counted it for me that's you all. know musicals work in the history of film uh, I, I grew up watching you sing in, in, in movies and everybody else they work beautifully on Broadway but everybody's afraid to make a musical nowadays well I why is that because they're so expensive I think um, there's certainly all the talent out there to write them I just think it's probably, um, uh, uh, the, the, it, it's prohibitive, to, you know, it's, our, our show was like eight and a half million dollars as a budget, and that's I'm, a lot. I'm talking I'd, about My Fair Lady was something like 450, oh. I think, some well, crazy thing like that. Thousands. Now, yeah. Julie, I'm talking about movies. They and don't why make they, well, movie musicals anymore. If you think about it, uh, apart from original film musicals, there, there was a very few you could cite maybe Gigi, maybe Mary Poppins, you know, um, some of the wonderful Astaire things. But usually, uh, movie musicals particularly these days are what has come from Broadway. And since there isn't that much on Broadway, you don't see that much on film, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rachel, you 
You seem to revel in your part. We just saw you on tape. Now, for, over the last couple of years, you've done much more serious parts. Is this a great <laughs> relief to play yes. this? Uh, how would you describe your character? Um, Norma is uh, a woman with a lot of heart, a lot of gusto, and um, she's she's wonderful to play every night. She's a lot. She has a lot of energy. <laughs> and, is that um, what that is? That's what it is. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> it is so funny. <laughs> All three of you have never seen yourself on stage before. Julie, no. that looks pretty good. I don't ever get to see it. No, is that what I look watch like? Oh my gosh! gosh. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't do it. <laughs> oh, they didn't. oh, they didn't do that part. No. Yes. Well, the next part I put the gun. Never mind. You know. <laughs> it's very difficult to watch other people's performances because when you're not on, you're changing clothes, so you can't even watch the other person do what you know they do very well. I never see your performance but except when we're on. I know. Rachel, I was... you, you see, she's this lovely, clean, sleek-looking lady, and every night it, she's this other human being. <laughs> dizzy, wonderful blonde wig, and bleached white almost. Well, you yes. know what? We're going to get tape and send it to you so you all know what you look like. <laughs> Thank you. We want to take a break right now. Stay right there. Julie Andrews and everybody answer some questions from our audience when we come right back. Back with Julie Andrews and her fellow cast members in Victor Victoria, Tony Roberts and Rachel York. Welcome back. And we have a question for one of you at least. How do you top a project like this? What's next on your schedule? Are you asking me? Yes. <laughs> ah, uh, well, I'll refer that to Rachel if you like. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how you do. I couldn't be luckier. I couldn't be happier. And I think right now I have to just concentrate on this. Here we go, right here. What's your favorite song? Uh, it depends which night it is. Go on. <laughs> Yeah, of all time that you have ever sung, favorite oh, one, that you go back to and would, would happily sing any day. Uh, funnily enough, it's, it's a song that I sang in a film called Star Called My Ship by Kurt Vile. Mm. Mm. It's did, one of my favorites. I have lots. Did the two of you watch the movie at all before? Because she's been in the movie. Right. Did you watch it or do you stay away from that? I, um, I had seen the movie when I was younger. And uh, about a year before we started uh, rehearsal, I watched the movie once. Leslie and Warner, right? Was that good to do? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. I stayed away from it deliberately because I knew I would copy Robert Preston, who was so good in this role, and I didn't want to copy him, so I deliberately stayed away from it. And since you all don't seem to have any idea how great you are on stage together, until we send you this videotape, mm -hmm. now this. I just want to say that we saw you last night. Oh, last night? And I recommend it highly to everybody. It was a wonderful experience, and I thank you very much. Oh, that's thank great. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, my question is for Julie. Did you, did you find it was easier to go on the stage after being in the movie Victor Victoria? Was it easier for you to make the transition to the stage? Um, well, I'd done a lot of theater as, uh, in my younger life, and so uh, uh, it, it's just wonderful to be able to sort of swing between all of them. But yes, having done the film, it was great fun and not so difficult hmm. to do it on stage. You are all so nice to do this today. We really appreciate it. And I can't let Tony Roberts go without saying Woody Allen, Woody Allen, Woody Allen, Woody Allen, Woody, <laughs> Allen, Woody Allen. And thank you for all of those. And I hope you thank say you. Tony Roberts, Tony Roberts, Tony Roberts, Tony Roberts, Tony Roberts. <laughs> how, how many movies with Woody Allen? Seven. That's all. Yep. That's a, mm -hmm. so good. So great. Thank you, Harry. There you go. Thank you all very, very <laughs> much for being thank here. Thank you so much. There you go. 16 to 40 hour. We want to say a very special thank you to Julian Andrews, Tony Roberts, and Rachel York. Big John and the Christmas Tree Farm, coming up next.